You know what? My couch is a mess. That's not why we're here, though. You know what? I want to unbox something. Guess what? I got something. Hey, I got a box. Now, before anybody gets certainly disappointed, it's not anime. But you could tie it in with anime, especially those of you who watch AMVs. And for my channel, it's also not video games, which you probably notice I stream some PS4 every once in a while here. A little uh, everybody's golf lately. But uh, yeah, so something I ordered. Oh my goodness. I want to say back in May, possibly June. Um, been waiting for a while for this. Um, bought it from like Pledge something? Pledge Music? Don't remember. Uh, but uh, yeah, finally shipped out. But I knew that. They, they, they told us online that it wouldn't ship until after Thanksgiving. And for the most part, they were correct. It slightly shipped before Thanksgiving. Showed up today, though. Uh, today being the Saturday after Thanksgiving. And uh, now I bought the very basic version of this, but uh, it did come with another gift, so not only do I have the box, but there's a little something extra on the side here. But uh, hey, why don't we go ahead and open this bad boy up, because... Uh, I've been excited to see this for a while now, and I've kind of put it off after it was delivered this afternoon, and i uh, kind of excited to get into it myself. So let's uh, go ahead and open the box and uh, get the goodies out, and see it even came with directions. This side up, and look, top, yes, top, because, yeah, you didn't, might not want to open the bottom. Eh, we'll see. Oh my, what's in the box, Jokey? What's in the box? Well, I can't wait to find out. I, I mean, I know what it is, but I haven't really seen the true real thing. I've seen some mention of it on uh, certain somebody's channel. Of course, I don't know why I'm acting like this because, hey, it's already in the title of the video, but, uh, Oh boy, Styrofoam! My favorite, I can't believe it. Uh, I've, been, I've been wanting Styrofoam all my life. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. Let's get this out of here. And, oh look, oh, oh, that is so pretty. Oh my goodness, that is awesome. That is cool. Okay, so let's get this out. Uh, nothing else in here, just some more foam. Well, I shouldn't say that because I love foam. Oh, 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 and a gel packet. Hey, hey, we can't forget this. Keep moisture from building up, keep it from oxidizing, you know. But uh, let's get to the important part here. Right here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is so cool. So cool. Okay. Oh, it is so awesome. I have to get this out of here. Yes, folks. Like I said, it's already in the title, but that's all right. Because it is Weird Al Yankovic. The squeeze box. The complete works of Weird Al Yankovic. Oh, this is neat, too, because this is the bonus book that comes along with it. And uh, that's cool how they strapped it to the uh, side of the accordion box here. I'm guessing snaps, possibly. No, I don't want to do that. So, okay, this is the CD version. Uh, there were two versions of this that they were selling, the uh, compact disc and also uh, vinyl record as well. I don't know how I'm going to do this and keep it all in frame. I think I'm going to run into issues here. And I don't want to break this thing right away by being an idiot. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm looking at this and I'm trying to figure out how I get into it. And uh, I want to make sure that these snaps really are snaps. There we go. Going to the right side. Ah, 
Okay. So this is where the accordion spreads out. And uh, on the top here, yes. And on the back. Oh, that is cool. Now, I ordered the CD version. And this is cool because, I don't know if you can notice this, but they basically, it looks like, took the uh, record size sleeves. Okay, so here's one of the albums right here. And uh, let me see if I can turn the flash off. Or at least hold this so the gleam is not showing up. But you notice here that they have the track listings and have the CD kind of put in there. That's different. So that's really cool. I got to look at this and like, oh. Okay, no, no, I thought maybe they did actually take a, the true record sleeve, but no, so that's how they've done. That's cool. So that's how all the releases have been stored in here. Like, of course, the accordion, the squeeze box. So that's really neat. Each of the albums, and then there is, I, I believe, also... One special. We have the Weird Al Yankovic in 3D. So they basically replicated the original um, record covers. And, and it's interesting how they did this for the compact disc. I wasn't quite sure how they were, if they were going to like have a smaller version of the whole set. But uh, no, this is this is actually a really interesting way to make sure they could use the same boxes for both the vinyl and the uh, CD releases. Oh, what do we got next here? Here we have the uh, Dare to be Stupid. <laughs> Again, I I'm terribly sorry, this doesn't really fit in frame so well here the way I'm shooting this. Um, let me set this off to the side. You know, feel free to, like, fast-forward, because I'm not going to do a lot of editing to this video. I kind of hate to do that. I'm, I'm one of those people that doesn't really like to edit his videos too much. Now, in a way, I'm kind of too bad that they don't have um, individual hard cases for these, because I was like, oh, once I get this, I'm going to listen to it in my car when I go to work. I, this is not really very convenient for uh, taking the uh, discs along, really. I mean, you would have to, uh... <laughs> oh my, I found the first Polka Party one here. That is cool. I was actually listening to some of his father's music the other day, uh, Frankie Yankovic, and uh, some of the original polkas. So, uh, here's the Polka Party ones. We've got uh, Living in a... There it is, Living with a Hernia, Dog Eat Dog, Addicted to Spuds, uh, One of Those Days, Polka Party, Here's Johnny, Don't Wear These Shoes, Toothless People, Good Enough for Now, Ground Zero, oh, awesome, oh my goodness, uh, now, I am in my 40s now, and uh, I, I would like to say that uh, to... Uh, some of the younger folks that are watching this. I grew up listening to Weird Al. Uh, going to high school, going to going to middle school, I had a little um, Kool-Aid Walkman, essentially, that uh, I cashed in. I don't know if they do this anymore. I don't think they do. I cashed in my Kool-Aid points and was able to uh, purchase a little cassette player that uh, I would listen to Weird Al on the bus every day going home, every day going to school. Oh my, and there's a classic one for you, the uh, Michael Jackson cover there. Oh, some of the best songs. But uh, yeah, I mean... I grew up on Weird Al Yankovic. That was my thing as a uh, child of the 80s when he was really, uh, I would say, in his prime. 
No, okay, no, I shouldn't say that either, because, I mean, he's in his prime-ish now, too, but, I mean, he's not putting out the releases that he did then, but even then, oh, awesome movie, I do have this on DVD, I need, I need to watch it again sometime, but here's the uh, recover, remake for uh, UHF, we're getting through these here. Okay, here we have the, uh, off the deep end, we're starting to get later on into the uh, works, because here is one he's very famous for, for of course, uh, Nirvana, uh, doing their song, Smells Like Teen Spirit. And let's see, oh, who doesn't remember this one from Jurassic Park? I mean, that is awesome. I, I love the job they've uh, done recreating these uh, record covers here. There's a track list there. Bohemian Polka. I, I, I love Weird Al's polkas. Oh, yes. And uh, who can forget the uh, Coolio spoof? <laughs> Have the Bad Hair Day album. With Amish Paradise, of course. That's one I like to do in karaoke quite a bit. Uh, also has Gump on there, too. That's another one that goes through my head quite often. <clears throat> oh, what's next on the hit parade? We have Running With Scissors. Now, I would love to see the record releases of this if somebody gets them, and I'm going to be doing a little searching around online to uh, see uh, somebody who has unboxed the vinyl version. See if they are essentially the same uh, record sleeves that are included. I, I, I couldn't get used to Al when he shaved his mustache off. It was kind of weird. I just uh, not was never used to the clean shaven owl. He always had the mustache back in the eighties. Yeah, let's see. We got four more here. I, I don't right there. Straight out of Linwood. And uh Hang on here. I don't want my squeeze box to tip over. <laughs> it's sitting kind of weird on my couch right now. And again, I apologize. I'm trying my best to get this all into frame, but my arms just aren't long enough, unfortunately. Can't you see I'm white and nerdy? White and nerdy. Okay. Well, that's not one that... You know, I'm not as well acquainted with a lot of his newer works, unfortunately, but like I said, I grew up on the classics. Not that I don't appreciate his newer songs either. I mean, the fact that he's been doing this so many years and so many artists actually look forward to and appreciate Al doing a uh, parody of their albums is awesome, yet... And if you don't appreciate Al doing a parody, you just need to go screw yourself. Because, like, to me, that's the sign you've made it. Is when Weird Al remakes your song. We have the uh, mandatory fun. I cannot wait to uh, listen to some of these again. Because I never got all of the releases. I had a number of them. And unfortunately, over the years, I have uh, misplaced things in in a move. And uh, also loaned out some things. And unfortunately, uh, never got them back. But haven't we all? And here is the, um, I want to say the bonus. The uh, things that never really made it onto the normal albums. Let's see what we got here. We've got Take Me Down, My Baloney, Yoda, A Demo, Dr. Demento Jingle, Pac-Man, Dare to be Stupid, 
Jurashiku Park. Oh yeah, didn't didn't he do that in Japanese? I think so. Headline news, which I, it kind of surprised me that I heard that uh, headline news didn't actually get put on any of the albums, which is kind of weird because I, I remember the video on mus uh, MTV quite a bit. Uh, it was one of my favorite videos. Um, let's see, since you've been on karaoke version, the Night Santa went crazy. Extra Corey version. Spy Hard. Oh, I miss Leslie Nielsen. Uh, you probably remember if, uh, last Christmas I went out of my way to get a hold of uh, a Naked Gun DVD. Let's see, what do we also got here? Lousy Haircut, Homer and Marge, The Brain Song, 30 Rock Theme Parody, Super Duper Party Pony, Sir Isaac Newton vs. Bill Nye. Is that a rap thing? Let the Pun Fill the Crime, Hey Hey We're the Monks, Comedy Bang Bang Theme. It's my world, we're all living in it. Beat on the Brats. Happy birthday, new version. Okay, well that that is really awesome. And, uh, I mean, that's not everything, because of course there was the book strapped to the font, front of this too. So let me get that out and reposition things, and I'll be back here in just a bit. Okay, so here is the squeeze box book. It came along with this. It is a soft cover book. Uh, kind of too bad it wasn't hard cover, but um, you know that would add to the expense. We'll take what we can get, and uh, kind of hope someday. Um, I don't know when Weird Al might be making another uh, concert trip to Des Moines, but uh, I would love to be able to uh, get this autograph sometime. But uh, yeah, so the book that comes along with this. I'll just kind of go through a few of the pages quick here. It's a, it's a nicely done book. Huh? Pretty glossy, especially for a soft cover. But there is the uh, some extra information on each of the uh, album releases here. So that, that's a, that's kind of a neat way to do this instead of trying to uh, include a whole bunch of liner notes within the. Uh, cases or how they did this uh, easier to take all the uh, notes and put them in the book like this which is really cool kind of flip through a little bit more here here's the uh, UHF once again an excellent movie if you have a chance to see it I'm sure you can pick it up on DVD somewhere cheap or God knows Netflix or Crackle or Hulu or any of those, Tubi TV, whoever, somebody's got to have it online for viewing. Uh, and then the uh, Gump, the uh, knockoff of Presidents of the United States of America. Uh, and I did get to see, when the last time that Weird Al was in Des Moines, uh, I w took uh, my buddy Steve along with me and uh, also met up my friend Al um, Adam from uh, where I used to work. We, Adam and I both happened to win a, a set of uh, tickets to uh, see the concert for free. Although, unfortunately, we really had to uh, <laughs> fight to get in because for some reason the radio station did a crappy job getting the uh, listeners there. So <laughs> I don't remember if it took like 30 or 45 minutes to finally get everything approved. We had to had to call the radio station and tell them what was going on. Nobody knew a number for contact, and it got kind of ridiculous. Oh. We're at the medium rarities. So, yeah, here's some of the uh, unreleased items. Looks like we got some lyrics. We got some extra information on all the albums again. This is, like I said, this is a really nice book that they included. And uh, it would be awesome to uh, get Al's autograph on here, not just the uh, reproduced signature that they have on the forward at the front of the book. So I'm kind of going to be excited to flip through this again later on, take a look at a few things on here again. But this is... This is really well done. Okay, now I just realized I haven't really taken the time yet 
to uh, do a close up on the actual accordion box. So let me bring this in here now that I've strapped it back together again. And uh, this is surprisingly well done. Uh, it, it is rather hollow plastic, but it's nice and shiny and a uh, pretty good replication of uh, Al's um, squeeze box uh, accordion, as it is. I see it even has the uh, Yankovic name right here. So, I mean, just that's that's really cool. And uh, I mean, it, it's it wasn't a it wasn't a cheap set, quite honestly. I mean, I got the cheapest version I could possibly get, which was the bare bones DVD, not DVD, bare bones CD release, which, uh, if I remember correctly, was two hundred dollars plus another thirty or something shipping. And of course, as I mentioned, that came along with even even the bonus cheap option came along with a little something extra for each. I don't know, was it $40 they would add? Oh, we'll add some Weird Al socks. Oh, we'll add a pennant. Well, I don't need that kind of gimmicky stuff because uh, I don't really need Weird Al socks. I don't know what I would do with his socks. I got so much crap in the little place I live with that's just extra stuff I feel like I didn't need. But uh, anyway, tell you what. Okay, I'm going to fix things again here, and let's take a look because I think... The item that comes in the pouch that was shipped separately, they shipped all the bonus items separate from the actual set. Like they came from two different sites, whatever. But uh, let me go ahead and uh, get that so we can take a look at what that is. Because I'm kind of curious too. I don't remember because it's been so long since I ordered all of this. So anyway, here is this. And I was looking at it because it showed up like, two days, two days, three days before the uh, accordion set did. And I'm just like, do I want to open this? Do I want to open this? I want to open this. I want to see what it is. But I held off because I it, it, it didn't make sense to like do this later, unbox the thing, and then go, oh, by the way, I also had this. Well, I know I could try to conveniently slip it in t with the other box, but I'm like, nah. So, yeah, the beginner level, or the first level of this, they mentioned magnets. <laughs> this is cool. So I'm looking at this. It's it's a magnetic dress up weird owl. And uh, let's get on closer on this. So there he's got some of his various heads. Um, the Amish Paradise and uh, smells like Teen Spirit. There's the uh, Amish Paradise uh, Parn Building 101 and uh, Kurt Cobain esque guitar and. Uh, shirt and it looks like we got the uh, Yoda look here uh, we got Al's classic Hawaiian type uh, shirt that he wore back in the 80s a lot there is the accordion of course uh, a pair of pants got a dog okay um, that's the um, is that the poodle poodle hat I don't remember so you give him, the main option is Al, oh, my facial recognition on the iPhone just picked up that face, but, so we have Al without the mustache, we have classic Al with the mustache, and then of course we have the uh, fat suit from, of course, fat. Uh, kind of interesting though, uh, Yoda came a few years after that, but uh, we got Yoda Soda along with the uh, pizza. So <laughs> that's uh, kind of cool. I hate to, I, I really hate to uh, open this up, but part of me really does want to open this up and put a bunch of these on the uh, refrigerator and play Dress Up Al. So that's uh, kind of really cool. Uh, like I said, just an extra gift that came along at uh, the uh, beginner level for this, which I, is, if I remember correctly, was like $230 with shipping. But yeah, for every 40, there were additional things added to it. But, you know, like I said earlier, I really didn't feel like I needed more crap than I already have in my apartment as it is. And uh, yeah, I'm, my poor little apartment is so small, I barely have move, room to move around in it with all the anime and figures that I have in here as well. But uh, 
That is going to wrap things up for this unboxing. And uh, we'll go back to normal unboxings for this channel uh, shortly. Because uh, I do know that before too long we should be seeing the uh, Squid Girl release from Sentai Filmworks. That was also scheduled, I believe, to come out right around, if not shortly, after Thanksgiving. Um, also looking forward to the Sword Art Online movie that uh, I believe that is releasing right before Christmas is the hope. We'll see. You know, Funimation is usually good about getting things out before street date, especially if you order through right stuff. However, that of course, um, SAO is a Anaplex of America um, item, so I don't know with Anaplex for the most part. They seem to be pretty much either on time, maybe a little early, but uh, it's been a while since I ordered a lot of Anaplex because it's so expensive. I mean, one of the last things I got, I think, was the uh, Sword Art Online... Um, lithograph that I picked up from Right Stuff that was like over $200, which is crazy. But uh, yeah, that uh, something all overtures. I don't want to walk across the room and look at the thing to remember what it was. So uh, anyway, thanks everyone that tuned in and stuck through this because I know not all of you probably care. Um, I'm a big Weird Al fan, and like I said at the beginning of the video, I was listening to Weird Al when, I, you know, 30-some years ago when I was still a young kid listening to Weird Al on the bus, and then you go, doom, 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 another one rides the bus, boom, 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 another one rides the bus, okay, well, enough of that, uh, this video has gone on too long as it is. Thanks everyone for tuning in for another video on the channel and we will see you again soon.